Is acting something that believers should be doing? Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, did it masterfully. And in fact, not a word is spoken in this drama. It is full of action. It is full of suspense. It is full of intrigue. He knows how to get your attention. Your Lord doesn't say anything. He stands up from the table. He walks over and he puts on a costume. He clothes himself in the robes of a servant. Can you imagine what the disciples are doing now? He's still not saying a word. They look at him. They're stopping talking now and they're watching this drama. He picks up a prop and he comes over, looking them in the face, and he kneels down. He washes their feet. The role that only a servant should do, the master of the universe, the one who spoke and it was done, the one who commanded and it stood fast, who was there when the earth was formed, who spoke it into existence, he now kneels at the feet of his disciples and washes their feet. If you don't think pictures matter, if you don't think your composition matters, the Lord comes to Peter, and what is Peter trying to do? Hey, Lord. Here's the thing, we put comedy where there shouldn't be comedy a lot of times with Christians, don't get me fired up about that. I don't like cheap stuff. Peter is serious. Oh, Lord. You wash my feet? Christ tries to answer him. I wash you. I, if I wash you not, you have no part with me. Why? You're going to mess up the picture, Peter. I'm showing you the picture of who I am, what I am, what I want you to be, which is a servant. I am portraying this servant, and I'm not faking it. I am it. He has temporarily become the character of a servant. He is a servant leader. And he kneels down and washes his feet. And of course, Peter says, okay, then, not to my feet only, but, but everything, my head, everything. But that's not the picture, because does the servant wash their whole body? No, the servant in the house washed the feet. It's important to stay in character. It's important that the picture is right. The aesthetic is right. Everything is right. Every detail. Listen to me. If you are not an OCD director, if you are not somebody who is willing to fight for it, like a pit bull puts their teeth in something and you will not let go no matter what obstacle in it, then you've got to get out of the game now. Because if we are going to have any chance in penetrating the darkness, you are going to have to be better than everyone. And the way you're going to do that is not by following the mantra of the world is not by looking at their patterns. Listen to me, please listen to me. The way you will become excellent is to follow the excellent one. Mm -hmm. Obey him, yield to him, offer what is already his back to him. I say this all the time, your gifts are not your own. Why do you glory as if they're your own? They're not your own. He gave them to you, they're from him.